everyone welcome to the channel knowledge star way to continuous lifelong learning my name is rishama sroor in this video we will talk about the critical review of published research so without much ado let's get started the ideas and content of a journal article are evaluated for their merits and shortcomings in a critical review it offers description analysis and interpretation so that readers can judge the significance of the article now our expert will explain to you in detail about this topic so to get complete information watch full video without skip when a research article is published or before publishing of also the scientific papers undergo a process of review after that only the paper is accepted or rejected or sent for corrections from the journals so to maintain the quality of the journals the articles which are published also to be of that standard so to meet that criteria the all articles undergo a critical review process so i will be explaining how to do a critical review on a published research at the end of the session i would like the participants to define the critical review explain the critical review of quantitative research studies and describe the critical review of qualitative research studies and how to write a critical review of published article so these are my objectives i want the participants to achieve knowledge on these aspects at the end of the session i would like to start with this quote the best critic is a better solution so once if we get a best critic of our paper that itself gives the solution so critic is just not criticizing it it gives a uh, ways by which the article to be improved and it also appreciates where the article had done good the meaning of critical review is appraisal of strength and weakness of the study the critical review does not project only the negative aspects of the study it appreciates both the strength and weakness of an article which is published and it identifies areas of adequacy and inadequacy in an unbiased manner so a reviewer should should not have their own thoughts ideas views on an article so the article must be viewed in an unbiased manner both the strength and weakness of the article to be appreciated with supportive evidence so in critical review is a process of intellectual and emotional response there must be a balance between both so we should not be going to any of these side there must always be a balance between intellectual and emotional response to the article reviewing a article requires two skills one is seeking information skills and next is reviewing effectively so a reviewer should have these two things first we must be able to read and understand the article and we must be able to gain as much information from the article and second about how to review it effectively so these are all the skills which is required from a reviewer when they review an published research article so before you read an article understand that why are you reading the article what is the purpose is if you are in a review board member what is the purpose are you simply if you are reading or if you are the research utilizer so first you make yourself clear that why are you reading this article or what makes you to read this article then you understand the content organization because every researcher has their own way of uh, writing the report and submitting even though the journals have guidelines on which categories the topics to be organized but still it the writers way of writing also influences this so try to understand the content organization how the content is organized in the research paper then first you read the abstract abstract gives all information about the research study a uh, one paragraph of 150 to 200 words which puts all aspects which is done in the research studies when you read and understand the abstract abstract clearly that is very important so uh, so that it will be easy for you to read the rest of the article first whenever research articles you read you read the abstract first understand it very clearly then you go to the list of references check for its authenticity uh, whether the 
article is based on the latest review good quality references are there or not so these are all the ways by which the initial or first impression of the article is created then you read about the author author credibility author's uh, um, experience in research and publications so like the previous speaker said now many journals are accepting articles only if you have a membership in our id in arcade or google scholar like that so these are all the weightage or credit of an author so this is how before you do a critical review you must be making yourself on all these ways to be done understand clearly read the abstract read the references then you read about the author then you go to the next steps of critical review <coughs> what are the guidelines to be followed when you do a review of the article first as i said read and understand carefully so one time once twice or thrice till you completely understand the article you must read then you will go to the critical appraisal of all aspects of the research study so there are many areas we know the content of the research study from introduction to summary conclusion then area wise you will have to assess each aspect of the research study then you have to be objective and sensitive while making negative comments so uh, simply giving a negative comments is not critical review you have to be very sensitive when you create when you give a negative comment on that so that you that also to be very objective in nature so you can have supportive documents when you give a negative comments on an article then you have to give supportive examples for both positive and negative comments so this these are all the guidelines which a reviewer must understand before critical before critiquing the research article <coughs> so then i totally divided the critical review for qualitative studies and quantitative studies separately as the research process and everything is different for both the approaches first let me uh, say something about critic of quantitative studies this also goes by aspect wise so first you will have to look at the title whether it is good whether it is correctly formulated whether the variables are included whether the population is included there is a way by which there is a rule by which the title should be formulated so whether the research article which you are reviewing has all these concepts in it or not as this question mark your comment then go to the abstract see you read the abstract and you see whether it is clear concise the main features of the study is included or not so when once if you read the abstract you must understand the entire research process in such a way that has to be written a paragraph which contains all necessary information about the research study so an answer to these questions is it clearly written it is concise whether the main features are included or not and then go to the introduction part first is the statement is the statement is unambiguously written is it significant to the nursing profession is there any logical sequence in it so these are all the questions you will have to ask about the statement write it then go to the hypothesis or research question first you look at whether the hypothesis is written or not yes or no if no you have to check whether the justification statements are given or not then you will have to see whether it is appropriately worded or not the variables are included is the very relationship between I mean predicted relationship between the variables are explained or not and is the hypothesis a research question is relevant with the existing existing knowledge so these are all the questions you will have to ask about the hypothesis a research question answer to this then go to the literature review so as previous speakers said literature review is very important because this gives a support to the present research study so see that whether the literature followed in this research study is update or not whether the latest reviews are added and see that whether the primary sources of literature are included or not so these are all adding weightage to the research study so see that whether it is done or not and next is state of art synthesis and evidences there may be n number of research studies in this paper how the author had synthesized this how they grouped it how they made it easy for people to understand answer to this question then is there a strong basis for the new study actually whether the collected literature is supporting the present study 
from that is there any scope for new study so answer to all these questions related to literature review then go to conceptual or theoretical framework as whether the concepts in the research study is clearly defined or not the articulation is done clearly or not is it easy for people to understand the definition of concept and its relationship whether this concepts are relevant to the hypothesis or research question so these questions you ask write the answers then go to the methods of research study first is ethical clearance so you see that in the present study is there any violation of human rights if so write the reason if no write the reason and you see whether the study had obtained ethical clearance from the review board if it is a internal review board write that if this present study the topic requires external review board clearance justify that also whether obtained or not if not make a comment on then go to the research design so first you see that the strongest design is used or not as we all know that mostly in nursing we follow the weak weak weaker designs only so there are lots of uh, uh, factors which contribute to this but still now i think we are growing in applying stronger designs also but see that the strongest design for that particular topic is adapted or not answer to the question then go to number of data collection points whether the data collection points are explained clearly or not pre test post test how many post test what is the duration so depend on the topic and the inter design whether it is explained or not you see it then was there measures taken to minimize the bias and threat so this has to be very clearly so the research design the validity reliability everything is there or not is there any threats was measures to take or was measures taken to uh, overcome the threats was it explained in the study or not so that answer to this question then go to the population and sampling so whether this study clearly identified the target population or not whether the samples obtained are actual representatives or not was there minimum sample bias was the samples are adequately taken how the sample size was estimated so all these questions to be answered so when you read a description of population and sampling read and understand whether these issues are addressed or not whether the present study definitely identified the population whether the actual representation of population is taken the method of sampling which was uh, adapted is clear was it suitable to the research design and how the sample size was estimated the calculation was explained was the samples taken as per the calculation so these are all the things you will have to answer to next go for data collection so whether the measurement of variables were appropriate whether appropriate tools were used to collect the data the instrument was clearly defined or described then it whether reliable valid data is obtained from the participant or not so is there a description of all these things given in the research study see to it then you go to the procedure if it is a interventional studies whether the intervention is clearly described so how the intervention was developed was there any references citations with that it is developed and how this intervention will be helpful in making a changes in the variable is there any evidence for the inter intervention fidelity is it explained in the study and if any other staff have given the intervention whether the staff or other co investigators they trained on giving this intervention or not so these are all the things you check whether this is described in the research article or not then go to data analysis whether the analysis part addressed all research questions are in this analysis whether the article gives the answers for all research questions see that and whether appropriate statistical techniques are used or not check an answer analysis to control the confounding variables is taken or not that you find an answer to this is there measures taken to avoid type 1 and type 2 error see through this so in the data analysis part look into these aspects then go to the findings so is the statistical significance of findings is explained in the paper or not whether summarized adequately tables and figures are there means are they very clear is it 
easy for people to understand what it talks about and each the findings are supported by evidences so these are all the things you will have to see in the finding if you want to see these type of videos please do comment we will definitely look after that thank you